Hello and welcome to what is going to be my first ever Let's Play. It's all looking really safe for an intro, so let's jump right in and hope it goes well. I'm going to start a new game, and I'm planning to play as a merchant type character who is not of noble birth. Because in this game, it tries to follow medieval society as close as it can, so whether you're a male or female character alters the way people will perceive you in the world. So. Uh, I'm going to be male, as well as the fact that because I'm male myself, I can associate myself with the character a lot easier than if it's female. I was born in a land far away years ago. My father was, and this is the point where I could pick noble, but I'm going to go ahead and pick a travelling merchant. <clears throat> but I was a page at a nobleman's court in my early years. Then, when I came of age, I became... Oh, let's be a goods peddler and carry on with a merchant type thing. Um, but after a, a while of my life as a goods peddler, I set out into the world to be an adventurer because... Uh, oh, which shall we pick? This doesn't really make any difference in the game whatsoever, but let's say lost money and power. Although it's mainly just for money. I'm going to quit without saving, even though that's kind of pointless because <laughs> I'm going to have to re record the whole video. Right, let's see what start and stats we got here. Uh, okay, we're not very good at combat, but we have a start and boost to intelligence and charisma. To be honest, they're the the main, uh, most important attributes in this game. Let's be very intelligent and charismatic. Uh, Eleven skill points. Let's take <coughs> trades already maxed out at three. Leadership, prisoner management, inventory management, persuasion. Uh, iron flesh. Uh, we actually have spare skill points. I'm just going to look through and see what I should take real quick. I would normally just save them up for when I get uh, leadership and trade to like to be leveled up again. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I'll take trainer because as for a starter army, uh, you can train them up uh, just a little bit faster. Although I normally recruit a party member to do that for me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take... Extra points in two handed weapons because I normally fight from horseback with a, a a large sword or something. Uh, I always have a set way to spec my character out as well, which I'll just give him a beard, why not? And then spiky hair. Looks a bit like a priest with the last one. Let's not make him super old, I'm have to do the hair colour then. Uh, apart from that, I don't go into details, changing his actual appearance, done. Uh, my favourite uh, nation in this whole game is the Nords. They are basically Vikings. Uh, whilst I arrive in the town, I quickly hear a sword. Uh, the, oh my god. I've got a crossbow and a, and a, a stick, basically. This is not normally what I'd take, although I do sometimes take crossbows. There we go. Shoot him in the thighs. Ah, oh, no, he's friendly. So this guy here, he, he wants me, he, he sees me and thinks, this guy can fight, I'm gonna get him to go recruit some guys and go rescue his brother, son, cousin, I don't remember which. I would read up all through this, but I don't want to have to uh, slow the video down to do it. Now, just to let you guys know now, I am going to use some cheats, but I am not going to... 
abuse it. I'm going to turn the map to always on so I can see things far away. I'm going to heal after battles. I'm also gonna. I'm not sure if this is a cheat, but you can advance time quicker. So say if I'm, I want to ride all the way to Tur. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'd control space and speed it up. Now, unfortunately, right outside Sergoff, there are some deserters and looters and sea raiders all on the way to the towns I want to go to to get recruits. So I'm actually gonna go back into town real quick. And I'm going to buy myself some goods uh, to go out and sell. So you start off with some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take. To be honest, the, this economy system is really simple. Mainly, you just look for if a town has an abundance of supplies, they'll be cheaper than somewhere that has none. But they have a. Uh, like a balance of supplies here, like they don't have any with an extremely large amount, so I'm probably just going to leave that for now. Uh, I am going to quickly look in... Oh, I have good armour for once. I'm used to starting off in like, basically rags. See how much for... I've, you know, I'm not going to buy a cheap sword because I can probably get off from fighting. Visit the tavern real quick. If there's nothing useful here, uh, hired blaze, which I'm not able to afford. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Mr. Drunk Guy. I don't want to fight you, but you're making me. Yeah, I know. No shooting, get me. Oh, I also forgot to turn the arrows off. Shot. Sure, sure, sure. so, yeah, that's the way the sword fighting works. Mainly there's four directions to attack and block, and if you block you get a parry, so although that is it's quite in depth for one-on-one -on -one fights, for the most part in battles you're like just wailing into about a cluster of ten guys and you're bound to hit at least one. So I actually got a sword from that which is quite convenient. So although there is depth to it, you rarely use the amount of depth in it. Now, for anyone who knows me, uh, this might be a weird game to start, my, start doing a let's play of, just purely because I, I, the Armour 2 clan that I'm in, the second time Royal Anglian unit, is uh, has a lot of members from uh, a, a clan called the Union Army, which is a, uh, a clan from a mod of Napoleonic Wards uh, called... Uh, North and South, so, and I have a lot of those guys as friends, but I ref I don't like playing uh, North and South. I don't really like the multiplayer of this. So anyone seeing this will think it's a weird choice, but I absolutely love this single player. I love the way the economy works. I love the the slow build up. I love running the fuck away from sea raiders. In fact, no, I can take them to only six. Less talking, more raiding! I love that voice. So yeah, I have, uh, at this point, peasants. I have six peasants I think I recruited. Which, they're actually quite well armed. Because I think they're, yeah, they're Nords. So Nords have the best, uh, like, single infantryman. Like, you know, one Nord warrior. I actually think they're called Nord for Skulls, the highest level one. Will be most other like single man infantry types of the other armies in a one on one. Obviously, you know, they like in other areas, like their cavalry isn't very good. In fact, I don't think they can get cavalry. Uh their archers although like their archers are pretty good, but they're not as good as the uh I think they're called the Vegas. I can't pronounce it properly. Let's try and knock a few of these guys out. Yep. Oh. So, I took the skills in pr prison management. If I use a blunt weapon like the staff, I can knock them out. And that would mean I can sell them, either recruit them to my party if they're willing, or sell them to a slave trader. That is pretty dickish, but these guys are bandits. Like, they loot and raid caravans and stuff, so I'm doing the world of service. Then. No, 
I just went down the hill. Come on, knock him out. Go away, guys. Oh, no. So it's hard to actually see what I'm doing. This is what I mean, right? It's in so cluster. Oh, shit. Let's see you now, this is what I was about before, where I'm going to heal after the battle. If I were to go to another battle now, I'd keep the same health. I'm going to heal just because it, I think it, it's fair then, because you, you do heal over time. But it takes a ridiculous amount of time, and I'd rather continue fighting. It, I'd have to... it would ruin the let's play a bit, because I'd have to run away and hide a lot. Uh, that is decent. a uh, decent helmet there, so let's take that. That is decent armor. So yeah, this is mainly what you do at the start of the game. You pick pick supplies from uh, dead enemies and just find useful stuff. These guys are actually quite well armed. That's enough for me now. I'm just gonna take it all to sell. Also, uh, gear up any recruits I get that uh, are unique party members. Like they have names and they'll have uh, their own personality and stuff. It's mainly results from them annoying the fuck out you after every battle. Just saying uh, how unhappy they are with each other. But it's quite interesting. Mainly, you just level up persuasion and you just tell them to shut up. And because you're persuasive, they'll listen to you.